Hi guys, in this video we will talk about One deputy dead after police respond to a critical incident in Colorado WWE Raw Results Recap Roman Reigns vs. Bray Wyatt leads big matches on show John Mahoney, who played Frazier, is dead, dead at 77. <laughs> One deputy dead after police respond to a critical incident in Colorado. Colorado Springs, Colorado. Police in Colorado Springs, Colorado, said they responded to a critical incident after local reports of three officers being shot and one deputy killed in the line of duty. Authorities responded to the scene in the area of N. Murray Boulevard and Galley Road. CBS affiliate KKTV posted images that showed police cruisers and ambulances at the crime scene. The Colorado Springs Police Department said they were working a critical incident and all suspects were accounted for. The El Paso County Sheriff's Office said it was also responding. Deputy Micah Flick, 34, has died after being shot in the line of duty, according to El Paso County Sheriff Bill Elder during a Monday evening press conference. Flick is survived by his wife and seven-year-old twins. Monday marked his 11th anniversary on the job. He was born August 20, 1983. Colorado Springs Police Chief Pete Carey also said during the press conference that the officers were responding to a motor vehicle theft when gunshots rang out around 4 p.m. Local time. A civilian was injured and rushed to a local hospital. Two El Paso County Sheriff officers were struck and are hospitalized. A male suspect was pronounced dead at the scene. One Colorado Springs police officer was wounded and in surgery. His condition wasn't immediately known. The names of three other victims haven't been released. This is a developing story. WWE Raw Results Recap Roman Reigns vs. Bray Wyatt leads big matches on show. One week after a thrilling Royal Rumble and game-changing edition of Raw, WWE is back again Monday looking to continue their momentum toward the next Raw brand pay-per-view, Elimination Chamber. Featured on the show is at least one more qualifying match for the main event of that PPV with Roman Reigns going head-to-head -head with Bray Wyatt. Will Reigns go over Wyatt and take his expected spot in the chamber, or does WWE have a twist in store for us? It is one of many angles that will be continued Monday night as Raw emanates live from Des Moines, Iowa. WWE Raw Matches John Cena vs. Braun Strowman vs. Elias to decide final chamber entrant. Tag Team Championship The Bar C vs. Seth Rollins and Jason Jordan Asuka vs. Bailey. WWE Raw Results Roman Reigns death. Bray Wyatt via pinfall. Before the match, Wyatt cut a promo about winning the Elimination Chamber a year ago in the biggest victory of his career, while Reigns cut one saying nothing will stop him on his way into and through the chamber. Matt Hardy was shown watching on a backstage monitor after the first commercial break. Wyatt reversed a Superman punch into a urinage but Reigns eventually hit the move and looked ready to put Wyatt away. Instead, the Eater of Worlds rebounded, hitting Reigns with Sister Abigail only for Reigns to kick out at 2.75, shocking and dismaying Wyatt. This led Wyatt to attempt it again, but Reigns was able to power out and quickly land a spear for the 1, 2, 3 to advance to the chamber. Immediately after the finish, Hardy appeared in the ring and hit Wyatt with Twist of Fate. There was hardly any crowd reaction to Reigns' expected victory despite portions of the crowd chanting, This is awesome, late in the match. The Reigns' win was assumed, but it occurred in such typical fashion with him kicking out of a finisher, setting the stage for WrestleMania 34 against Brock Lesnar. A meeting of the minds. Seth Rollins and Jason Jordan met up backstage with Rollins expressing concern for Jordan's health. 
Jordan confirmed that he is completely healthy and has been cleared by trainers, so Rollins emphasized it was time for them to go out and win the tag team titles back. Finn Balor and Carl Anderson Death The Revival via Pinfall Originally set to be a one-on-one -on -one match, The Revival challenged Baylor to make it a tag team bout. Anderson took Dash Wilder out at ringside, giving Baylor the opportunity to hit Scott Dawson with a sling blade and coup de grace for the clean win. WWE 50-50 booked two wrestlers in as many weeks with Baylor getting a win back after falling to John Cena and The Revival leading an unnecessary loss after looking like they were building momentum a week. Ago. Sasha Banks tries to get over Asuka Watching film of her lows last week on Raw, Banks told an entering Bailey she now knows how to beat the Empress of Tomorrow. Bailey asked her friend to share that information, but Banks refused, saying she was keeping her tricks to herself. Bailey then called back to Banks eliminating her from the Royal Rumble, but Banks said she did what she had to do and believed she was the only one who could end Asuka's undefeated streak. You think you can beat Asuka, she asked Bailey. I know I can beat you, Bailey replied. And if you're good enough to beat Asuka, so am I. John Mahoney, who played Frazier's dad, dead at 77. Los Angeles, John Mahoney, who is the cranky, blue-collar dad in Frazier, played counterpoint to pompous sons Frazier and Niles, has died. Mahoney was 77. The actor died Sunday in Chicago after a brief hospitalization, Paul Martino, his manager for more than 30 years, said Monday. The cause of death was not immediately provided. In, Frasier, the hip Cheers spin-off that aired from 1993 to 2004. Mahoney played Martin Crane, a disabled ex-policeman who parked himself in a battered old armchair in Frazier's chic Seattle living room. Kelsey Grammer's Frazier and David Hyde Pierce's Niles, both psychiatrists with lofty views of their own intellect, squabbled constantly with their dad but, when needed, the family closed ranks. Martin's beloved dog, Eddie, also took up residence to annoy the fussy Frazier. Mahoney, a British native who made Chicago his hometown, was a two-time Emmy nominee for Frazier, won a 1986 Tony Award for The House of Blue Leaves, and worked steadily in movies. John Cusick, who appeared with Mahoney as the 1989 film Say Anything, tweeted that he was a great actor and a lovely kind human, anytime you saw him you left feeling better. Mahoney's recent TV credits included a recurring role as Betty White's love interest on Odd in Cleveland and a 2015 guest appearance on Foil's War. On the big screen, his credits include Primal Fear, Eight Men Out and the Coen Brothers, Barton Fink and The Hudsucker Proxy. Among his last movie appearances was 2007's Dan in Real Life, starring Steve Carell. The actor was born in 1940 in Blackpool, England, during World War II. That's where his pregnant mother had been evacuated for safety from Nazi attacks but the family soon returned to its home in Manchester. In a 2015 interview with the Associated Press, Mahoney recounted memories of huddling in an air raid shelter and playing among bombed out houses. The accounts his four older sisters shared with him, he said, included tucking him into a baby carriage outfitted with a shield against feared gas attacks. One sister, who moved to the Midwest after marrying the U.S. Sailor, was responsible for Mahoney's decision to make his life in America. He visited Chicago as a college student and fell in love with it. The lake, the skyline, the museums, the symphony, the lyric opera, he said in extolling the city in 2015. Add in reliably friendly Midwesterners, Mahoney said, and it's my favorite place in the world. I give up nothing. Professionally. By being in Chicago, said Mahoney.
who at the time was preparing to begin rehearsal on a Steppenwolf Theatre Company production of The Herd. <laughs>